Hi everyone, it's Nicole and I'm here with another layout. This is one of my last layouts that I got complete uh, or I completed at the crop that I went to in November. And this was using a larger photo. It's a six by eight photo, I believe. And it is of us uh, taking some family pictures at the orchard just this past October. Now, sadly, Caitlin had to work that day and we had tried for weeks and weeks to be able to all go and either it was raining or somebody was working or so that was the last one that they were going to be open. And then after that, they were closing for the season. So either we were going to go and, you know, get some family pictures or we just weren't going to have any this year. And I thought it was important like to have some, you know, especially for Mason and um so anyway we went we had a blast we love picking apples it's not this earth shattering thing that you do but it is so much fun every year uh since the kids have been you know quite little we've been going apple picking and it's always at the same orchard they've been open forever and so it's it's something that the kids really like and now it's fun to be able to sort of continue that tradition with Mason. But anyway, so this is the page kit that I had put together before I went to the crop. I didn't know what I was going to do, so I just started cutting the pattern papers. So I knew I wanted that grid as my background, and I wanted that dark chocolate, uh, I think it's espresso cardstock from Stampin' Up as a mat for the grid paper. So I knew I wanted that right away. So I cut down the grid paper to about 11 and three quarters by 11 and three quarters and, you know, put it right on top of that cardstock. Now the other pattern papers, I believe those are from maybe Amy Tangerine, Dear Lizzie, one of those collections. And those were actually from a paper pad that I had ripped out of the paper pad and I mounted my photo on some red cardstock just to add a splash of red because I knew when I looked at the embellishments there was quite a bit of red embellishments so I just wanted some a red splash. Now as you can tell I cut down the pattern paper but I left it quite like the whole length of the 12 inches because I don't know what I want to do and I can take away, but I can't put it back. So you can tell I'm very, very conservative on how I'm cutting it down. So I'm just cutting down a little bit and then I'm looking to see how it looks. And eventually I'll cut down the polka dot paper so that it just sticks up at the top and the bottom of the heart paper. And, but like I said, you can take you can take away but you can't add back so it's best if you're not totally sure what you want to do just cut a little bit you know I kind of put my embellishments to see how they would look and then you know I what I found was I didn't see enough of that grid paper I wanted to see a little bit more of the grid paper so when I don't know what I want to do next I go ahead and do what I do know what I want to you know what I want to do and that is to um, either ink the edges or start gluing everything down. So at this point, I went and grabbed my gathered twigs from my distressed inks, and I'm gonna ink the edges of all the pattern papers, and then I'm gonna start gluing it down. Now, while I'm finishing that off, I just have to tell you, I'll probably have to stop the recording quite a few times and take a drink of water. This weekend we had Mason for the uh, for a night and <clears throat> he was fine and then by the time he went to bed he started feeling sick and then oh by midnight the poor kid had a fever and coughing and so I was up all night Friday night because he was sick and um, and oh, I think I'm getting it again. I my body was just starting to feel better so I wasn't over it yet and I don't know just having someone cough in your face all night I guess <laughs> doesn't help and not sleeping a whole night now the next night the next night he went home 
I guess it was about 8.30 on Saturday night. And I went to bed shortly after he left and I slept for 14 hours. Like I was exhausted. So, but today I woke up and I kind of have a sore throat. So hopefully <clears throat> I can hopefully fight it off. But anyway, so I have to stop and take some drinks because uh, I start coughing. So anyway, I ink the edges of all the pattern papers and then I started gluing it down and then you know before I start too much with the embellishment I'm like okay now you're at the point you have to make a decision and I thought you know I want to see a little bit more of that grid paper so I cut the po I cut down the heart paper and then I cut the polka dots so that it just fits uh, so it pokes out at the top and the bottom and the big thing what I was trying to do was to make it so that my photo was not going to hide that big heart that's printed on that pattern paper that was my main thing I wanted that heart to be one of my embellishment foundation because why not right it's already printed on the pattern paper I can use it so it's the beginning of an embellishment foundation now there was a couple of washi tape that um, I had put with this page kit. So I'm gonna use those as my horizontal line coming from my embellishment cluster. And I love those packages of washi tape because there's not a lot in them. Uh, the last few videos I talked about how some of my washi tapes aren't coming off the roll so well. And uh, so I don't think they're gonna last forever. Let me put it that way. So I think it's good um, if, you know, we don't have too, too much of those. And I, I've noticed too, it's the thinner washi tape. The one that is more like plasticky, that one is fine. It's the other one that seems to be a little thinner that I'm having a little bit of issue with. So I'm liking even more of these um, almost books of washi tape because then you can use them up and then it's done <laughs> and you don't have to worry about them going kind of bad and it's not all washi tapes too so so that circle was a big embellishment and that's where I'm going to do my journaling and if you're new to my channel what I did was I made these page kits and then I also did all my journaling before I went to the crop now this was sort of like I think the last day so I was trying to get as many pages done as I possibly could and because I was rushing I didn't want to rush my journaling and you know what I didn't worry about it because I knew that my journaling was already done on cards so I knew that once I got home I could just do the journaling then so when you look at the pictures at the end of this the journaling is already done so I used some of my favorite letters they are thickers and they look like material and they look stitched and I just wrote uh, Jones and then I'm going to use a little bit of the embellishments and then I'm going to use some of this grid paper to uh, to have another layer under my photo but while I'm putting those embellishment clusters together I just want to let you know for uh, about a few things um, that's going on. So first, today is the 12th, so my newest class, Focus on 6x6, is on sale for two more days at $20, and that comes with 15 layouts using 6x6 patterns, and then on the 15th of February, you will get two more uh, as little bonus videos, so two more layouts using six by six pattern papers and that was so much fun to do another thing i want to mention is right before christmas i did a two for one class which including which included for the level of, of the collection where i took a collection and i did a whole bunch of pages using that collection and bring in some stuff from your stash to kind of beef up that collection and also the second class was using your scraps from your stash and getting a bunch of layouts done with that. And I decided to leave it, so that class is worth $50 because there's two classes, there's over 30 videos. 
and I decided to just leave it at $25. It's a two for one class, so that's going to be at $25. So if you want to check that out, that's going to stay at $25. Now, the third thing that I'm super, super excited about is the whole month of March. So starting on March 1st, I'm going to have a scrapathon. Now, I've had a few questions. Yes, you will receive the class like you normally receive the class for all my classes. So you'll get a link for the videos. The only difference is there's going to be a video that's going to be uploaded to that link every day. So on March 1st, there'll be a, a layout, March 2nd, 3rd. The second thing is there's going to be a Facebook group. Now you can join the Facebook group or you don't have to. Uh, a lot of people, some people don't have Facebook, uh, but the only thing is, um, on the Facebook group, we're going to be chatting every day and I'm going to be talking about what the challenge is going to be for that day. Now, there's going to be, you know, 31 challenges and so 31 layouts at least that I'm going to pre-do and then during the month, I'm also going to be doing some extra layouts and also I'm going to have a Facebook Live uh, on the Facebook group. Now here I just a little little teasers about some of the stuff that you know we're going to be doing during the month. So we're going to have challenges with sketches, with uh, recipes, tic-tac-toe, bingo, using stencils, journaling, um, you know a layout using large photos, layout using multiple photos, uh, using PL card, uh, project life cards, punches, and so much more. I have a different idea for every day of the month of March. So that will become available around the 20th of February. And you'll get more than 31 videos because when I release the class, I'm going to have, I'm like I do all my classes, I choose my pattern papers with you guys because I think it's something that every time that I do, it's different because I'm using different papers. So I have different thoughts of why I chose those pattern papers and then my embellishments and also making page kits. So those videos will be available when the class is released because then you'll have time to get ready for the scrap scrapathon also. And so I'm going to put together 31 page kits. Anyway, so I just want to let you guys know about that. I'm so excited. It's going to be so much fun. So there's going to be more details to come in the next week or so. So I've had a few questions, so I thought that I would answer a few today. Anyway, that's going to complete this layout. It was super fun. I'm just going to add a little bit of mist. And again, if you want to check out my focus on six by six class, the link to my classes is always in the description down below. Here are some pictures of the close-ups of this layout. Now, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to hit subscribe. And if you're enjoying these videos, if you wouldn't mind giving me a thumbs up and maybe leave me a comment down below. And I want to thank you so much for watching. Bye.